Today, I'm going to be flying to San Jose for a week. Visiting family. This is the first time I've been... This is the first time I've left Riverside in over 18 months. Hope you can hear me okay. This is my first time on an airplane in 12 years. So it should be fun. Arrived to San Jose. This should be good. The new L5R. Better than the old L5R, I think. This is my nephew, Adam. We were born on the same day, 23 years apart. He's definitely the coolest of the O'Neills. So a little bit of park activity with the nephew. Feels good, I haven't seen anyone in so long. We're doing game night. All vaccinated people, of course. And I will say, uh, up in the Bay Area, it's a ridiculously high rate of mask wearing. And that's why this area hasn't been beat up so hard. I say, you know, San Francisco has the same population as North Dakota, uh, despite being a big city with everyone living on top of each other. And it only has like one quarter or one fourth the number of fatalities from COVID. Yeah, it's not an accident. Uh, it happened for a reason. So, uh, yeah. It's gonna be boring stuff, but uh, I'm having a good time up here. I am in Palo Alto at the AMC IMAX theater. If you can see it's all Palo Alto y. Uh, but today, I get to see Ghostbusters 3, which I've been waiting for for 30 years, so I hope it's good. Uh, it's gonna it has the kids I like from. Uh, Stranger Things in Fuller House, so I think it'll be good. And it's Ghostbusters, but I've been waiting for this for 30 years. They don't even have any Ecto Cooler, which is a... Uh, maybe they might. If they have Ecto Cooler, you're gonna see it. But we're having a great time. Uh, it feels good to be traveling. I probably said that a million times in this video. So now I'm gonna watch the movie. It was legitimately a good movie. Uh, I've been a fan of Ghostbusters since I was four. I'm 37. A long time. Absolutely loved it. Um, I, I, for Harold Ramis, that's all I'll say. Uh, see it if you like the franchise. So today, we're going to the Winchester Mystery House. I've never been uh, with this fancy mall first. Uh, this is a cool trip. And uh, hopefully they'll, they'll let me show video inside. So this was the Winchester House. We just went on the tour. I can't show you video of the tour because I didn't take any, it wasn't allowed, but I have a lot of photos. Very different than I thought. Uh, in like the stuff that I heard that it was haunted, and that she built this to confuse ghosts. And I actually see this house as a woman with health problems who's an eccentric with ADHD. And she would start a project and couldn't finish it and start something else. Very cool though. Very, very cool. Uh, absolutely loved it. And uh, it was different than I thought. If you get the chance to take the tour, definitely take the tour. But I, I, I was totally taken back. Uh, very interesting. It's also a lot older than I thought. I thought it was built right after World War II. It turns out it was much, much older than that. She died 20 years before that. But uh, check it out, Winchester House. So my family's a little on the private side, so that's why they're not in the video. I'm not excluding them. We just didn't want to be in the video, which is fine. But we've been playing this Sherlock Holmes detective game. This game is awesome. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, we didn't do Jack the Ripper, we're doing West End Adventures. If you ever need a good game for game night, check this one out. You get 10 games in each one. Really cool. Sherlock Holmes. So that's the trip. I was gone for a week. And uh, it was great. It was great to see Corey and Sophia and Adam. And thank you so much for having me for the week. It was, uh, it was something I haven't done in a long time, even before COVID. And I was glad I got to do it. Um, but yeah, we did 
a lot of things that in, I, I come up to Silicon Valley quite often, but I rarely ever like see stuff here. Like I never did touristy things and we did touristy things and it was fun. There was an Egyptian museum, but we didn't get to see because it was closed the whole week. But uh, this was a great trip and uh, I look forward to do it again. I will say one thing I'm amazed by is uh, how nice airports are. Everyone complains about them. I'm thinking these places are a lot of fun. This is probably well, flying home be the second time I've flown, but I haven't done this in a long time. But uh, anyway, folks, hope you like that. I'll do a little Casey Neistat flight montage. Got to do that or it doesn't count, right? And uh, subscribe. Probably not going to do travel videos because I don't travel much. And I'm going for a variety. Uh, the next one, I'll just announce it because while I'm editing it, is a uh, Dead, Dead Sears video. A footage I shot two years ago. It should be a lot of fun. So, anyway, folks, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Riley O'Neill, and enjoy whatever montage I have after this.